Hey there, in this video, we are going to move on to the product rule, which is used when we're multiplying the same bases with exponents. So for example, we have this right here, a to the m times a to the n, notice the bases are the same. We have a base of a and a base of a, and we have exponents on each of those bases. And what we do to combine these together into one base and one exponent is we leave the same base, so the base remains a, and then we add together the two exponents, m and n, to be our new exponent on that single base. So again, when you're multiplying like bases, we add the exponents together while keeping the base the same. So an example with some numbers, five to the third power times five to the second power, five to the third and five to the second have the same base, so we can go ahead and use what we call this product rule. And again, with the product rule, we just add those exponents together, three plus two, which gives us five. And then five to the fifth power, if we were doing this problem, we could evaluate that either by memorizing or um, by multiplying it out by hand. Additionally, even if you have negative exponents, you will still use this rule the same way. You will add those together, and we'll see that down here. It's just you'll be adding a negative number and a positive, or maybe two negatives, but it is going to still be addition there. So let's take a look at example one. Four to the second times four to the seventh power. Notice we do have the same base. We always want to check that. And we are multiplying between these. So what that means is we are going to add those exponents of two and seven. So we will leave the base as four. Notice I do not multiply those together. It is just going to be four. And then we have two plus seven. So four to the ninth power because we have um, two plus seven becomes nine. Now, in this example, you probably would not see this um, where you would need to evaluate it necessarily, but if you had it either memorized or multiplied it out, you would get 262,144. For now, I'm just going to leave it as four, 4 to the ninth power. On number two, we have 3 to the fourth times 3 to the negative second. So again, we do have the same base in each of these. So we go ahead and add those exponents because we are multiplying between those like bases. So the base is going to remain 3, and then we will add 4 plus negative 2. And when we're doing 4 plus negative 2, that's really the same as 4 minus 2, which is 2. So our base is 3, and our exponent is 2 when you do 4 plus negative 2 or 4 minus 2. So now we can evaluate this. 3 to the second power is going to be 9. 3 times 3 is 9. And so that would be your answer on number 2. On number 3, we have x as our base in each of these. And again, we are multiplying these bases together. So x to the fifth times x to the third. So what we are going to do is we are going to go ahead and add those exponents. So 5 plus 3. 5 plus 3 is 8. And so our answer here is x to the eighth. We can't simplify that any further because um, we have a variable base, not a numerical base. On number four, we have y as the base on each of these. And again, they're being multiplied together. So we take the exponents and we add those exponents together. So we have y as our base and then negative 12 plus eight. That is the same as y to the eight minus 12. If you wanna think about it as eight minus 12, you can, and that's gonna be negative four. So y to the negative fourth power. Notice our directions say that we should only have positive exponents, not negative exponents in our final answer. So we do wanna rewrite this like we've learned previously. So we can't leave this negative exponent. So we are going to take this base of y to the negative fourth and move it to the denominator. So it will become y to the fourth power on the bottom. We can't leave the top empty, so it is going to be one over y to the fourth power. So one quick clarification on the product rule. The product rule works only if we have the same base, just like we talked about. So if the product um, is set up with different bases, so for example, five to the third power times three to the second power, those are not the same base. So we cannot use the product rule 
there. So this is not going to work and we can't just do five times three and add the exponents together. That will not work either. So when we are evaluating this type of problem, when the bases are different, you're just going to have to evaluate five to the third power and get a value for that. And then three to the second power and get a value for that. And then multiply those two values together. So for example, here, we would take five to the third power, which is five times five times five. And we would go ahead and multiply those together. So you can either memorize five to the third power, or if you um, aren't sure about what that is, then you can do five times five and you get 25 and then do times five there. And that's going to give us 125. So that would be five to the third power times whatever we get when we do this three to the second power, which three to the second power is just three times three, which is nine. So we are doing 125 times nine. And when we do that, 125 times nine, you can come off to the side here, nine times five is 45, nine times two is 18 plus four, we end up with 22, carry the two, nine times one, is 9 plus 2 is 11. So that's going to be 1,125 when we go ahead and multiply that all out. So in summary, the product rule again has to be the exact same bases and we add the exponents when we have the same bases being multiplied together, the product. So for example, x to the fourth times x to the third would be x to the seventh when you add the four and the three. If they are not the same bases like the one we did on the last example, we had five to the third times three to the second, we would evaluate this piece and this piece and then multiply those together to get our final answer. That does not work with the product rule. We can't add the exponents and just multiply the bases together when it is not the same base. It has to be the same base for that product rule to work.